The likes of China clamber for minerals and commodities to fuel their economic booms. The prices of precious metals have also been soaring high for some time. Worries over the global economy, inflation and political instability in places like Egypt all feed into pushing gold and silver prices higher. Indeed, with the price of gold doubling in the past five years, finding new deposits has become the name of the game. Well, the price of gold is now making prospecting viable in areas which until recently were either too remote or too dangerous or too low grade. Well, one man who's been looking at these new opportunities in Latin America is Rahim Jiv Raj, who is the president and chief executive of Mercer Gold Corporation. He joins me now. Um, you are an exploration company and you're looking into Colombia. Colombia, of course, historically has been a very good uh, and very strong gold producer, but of recent years hasn't been because of the political risk. That, that, that's correct, but uh, the previous president, uh, Uribe, did a really good job of eradicating the FARC and the paramilitary to the outskirts of the country. Um, Juan Manuel Santos, the current president, continues with that same regime, focused on national security and attracting foreign direct investment. So I think they've, they've done a very good job in the last eight years. So with the political risk reduced, but what you're mining is fairly low-grade ore, isn't it? I mean, I'm looking at this here. I can't see much gold in that. Yes. Well, <laughs> it, you're right. It takes a, a lot of uh, this type of ore or rock to produce uh, an ounce, even, per se. But, you know, again, there are higher-grade districts within Colombia. For the district which we operate or explore in, which is called Marmato, it is a bulk tonnage or a low-grade uh, system that we are looking at. Um, there is a major South uh, African uh, mining company with a 14 million ounce discovery not too far from where we are. Uh, our next door neighbor uh, has a, a 10 million ounce discovery. So I think that uh, us being adjacent to and on strike from this type of property, we're very prospective in the fact that we may also have uh, the next big discovery in Colombia. At what point does it not become viable to mine this type of low-grade ore? You know, I, I think that that's a question that's relative to local economics. Mm. Um, as long as the production costs are low in country and gold, you know, stays over those costs, it's profitable. So again, uh, you know, this is just a guesstimate, but at our property, I would assume that our production costs, when and if we get there, would probably be in the two fifty to four hundred dollar an ounce range. So that's very viable. Exactly. Yes. So. And your your idea is that you prospect, and then somebody comes along and buys that mine. Yeah, we're opportunists. We're explorationists. So our goal is to find the prospective property, do the the proper work, drill out a resource, or define the resource, and look at what opportunities present themselves. Subject and are you finding that mining companies are beating down your door at the moment because of this tension between supply and demand? Um, we've certainly had some interesting discussions, however, um, I can't say too much. Uh, all I can say is that it's our, our job and our goal to uh, increase shareholder value. Uh, as a public company, we're traded on a U.S. exchange and our symbol is MRGP. Um, Thanks for telling us yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's important for us to, to work to define a resource. Uh, and I think once we get there, then we'll look at these opportunities. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Yeah, I appreciate it. The